Hello, chemistry students. Today, we will be performing our isopentyl acetate or banana oil experiment. In this experiment, we will prepare the ester isopentyl acetate by the direct esterification of acetic acid with isopentyl alcohol. Let's get started. We will start by assembling our reflux apparatus, which consists of a five milliliter conical vial, a water-cooled condenser, and a drying tube that's been packed with cotton and anhydrous calcium chloride. We will use a hot plate and an aluminum block for heating. We will next pre-weigh our five mil conical vial. The mass of our pre-weighed five milliliter conical vial is 19.9659 grams. We will next add approximately one milliliter of isopentyl alcohol to our pre-weighed five milliliter conical vial. We will then re-weigh the five milliliter conical vial and the alcohol. The mass of the pre-weighed five milliliter conical vial and the isopentyl alcohol is 20.7719 grams. We will next add 1.5 milliliters of glacial acetic acid and two to three drops of concentrated sulfuric acid to the isopentyl alcohol in our five milliliter conical vial and swirl to mix. We will then add a boiling stone and reattach our five milliliter conical vial to our reflux apparatus. After reattaching our five milliliter conical vial to our reflux apparatus, we will heat our mixture to a boil and continue heating under reflux for an additional 60 to 75 minutes. After refluxing for 60 to 75 minutes, we will remove the vial from the heat and allow the mixture to cool to room temperature. After our mixture has cooled to room temperature, we will remove the boiling stone and perform three one milliliter extractions using 5% aqueous sodium bicarbonate. We'll remove the lower aqueous layer from each extraction and discard it.
We will next transfer the ester to a new clean and dry conical vial and dry the ester over anhydrous sodium sulfate for 10 to 15 minutes. We will next transfer the dried ester to a new three milliliter conical vial using a filter tip pipette to ensure that we leave all of the drying agent behind. We will now perform a distillation of our dried ester. I've added a spin vane to our three milliliter conical vial containing our dried ester and attached it to a Hickman head still, which is attached to a water-cooled condenser and a drying tube packed with cotton and anhydrous calcium chloride. We will collect our distillate from the side port of the Hickman head using a pasture pipette and transfer to a pre-weighed three milliliter conical vial. Note that I've slightly angled the whole distillation apparatus so that our distillate pools in the Hickman head where it will be easiest for us to collect from the side port. We will continue our distillation until only one to two drops of liquid remain in our three milliliter conical vial. We will now pre-weigh our three milliliter conical vial that we will be using to collect the distillate. The mass of our pre-weighed three milliliter conical vial is 23.2969 grams. We will now begin the distillation of our ester isopentyl acetate. After only two to three drops of the isopentyl acetate remain in our three milliliter conical vial, we will remove the distillation apparatus from the heat and collect the remainder of our distillate and transfer to our pre-weighed three milliliter conical vial. The mass of our pre-weighed three milliliter conical vial and our isopentyl acetate distillate is 24.3006 grams. We will now determine the boiling point of our isopentyl acetate. Okay, students, you can now determine the percent yield, the boiling point, and analyze the IR spectrum of our isopentyl acetate. This concludes the isopentyl acetate experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.